The Carl Zeiss surgical microscope X300 was released in 2017 in Japan. I am the first person in Japan to use the new Carl Zeiss surgical microscope X300 for dental treatment. I evaluated the X300 and found some weak points. Due to my evaluation, Carl Zeiss proceeded to make the necessary change immediately. This is due to the microscope being attached to an arm that isn't vertical, therefore not allowing for the microscope to move independently. So, 2017 X300 Akiyama evaluated 2018 X300 quite different. It's a YouTube video clip from one of my other channels. Here you will see initial evaluation of the first version of the X300. This is due to the microscope being attached to an arm that isn't vertical. Therefore, not allowing for the microscope to move independently. This is due to the microscope being attached to an arm that isn't vertical. Therefore, not allowing for the microscope to move independently. I speak on both good and bad points later. On I deleted this video from that channel as I came to know that Carl Zeiss would make the necessary changes. The new improved X300 is the Kiyama Evaluated X300 positioning for direct view dental treatments using the surgical microscopes technique. I am the first person in the world to explain dental treatments positioning using the new X300 with the microendoscopic technique again method previous work. In this presentation, I will introduce the innovation of the surgical microscope that has taken place in Japan. This technique named the Microendoscopic Technique Again Method presented at 2007. The surgical microscope's conventional technique is normally set at the 12 o'clock position. The surgical microscope is a huge device and difficult to maneuver. Therefore, we are forced to position this device at 12 o'clock and must use the mirror technique. The construction of the surgical microscope makes for a new obstacle between the operator and the patient. This is the reason why the surgical microscope is so difficult to use in the daily practice. This is due to the fact that we have to use one hand for the mirror and the other hand for treatment. As for the assistant, they must direct the air cylinder towards the mirror with one hand in order to avoid the mirror from becoming cloudy. As for the other hand, they must use it to assist the dentist. One hand assist. The microendoscopic technique again method allows us to use both hands during treatment. The microendoscopic technique again method reduces the treatment time and increases the quality of treatment. If we use the surgical microscope maneuver, we can direct view various parts of the mouth and teeth. By using the flexible surgical microscope's interface, which moves like an endoscope, allows us to overcome this new obstacle. I will demonstrate to you how to overcome this obstacle. This is the Carl Zeiss X300 movement. This is the Carl Zeiss X300 movement. 
Flexible interface. This is a Carl Zeiss XL300 movement. By using the flexible surgical microscope, which moves like an endoscope, allows us to overcome this new obstacle. I will demonstrate to you how to overcome this obstacle. If we use the surgical microscope maneuver, we can directly view various parts of the mouth and teeth. Carl Zeiss Extra 300 Positioning for Dental Treatment Number 1. Light Upper Central Incisor Tooth We need 5 cm extension for the dental treatment positioning. We need 5 cm extension for the dental treatment positioning. I will explain the positioning for dental treatment by using my book named The Microendoscopic Technique. This information is located on page 142. Chair position flat. Operator position 10 o'clock, vertical head posture facing upwards, horizontal head posture level, surgical microscopes maneuver turn towards operator's side. Number 1, chair position flat. Operator position 10 o'clock. Vertical head posture facing upwards. Horizontal head posture level. Surgical microscopes maneuver turn towards operator's side. Carzai's extra 300 positioning for dental treatments. Number two, left upper first premolar tooth. I will explain my using my book, page 157. Chair position flat, operator position 10 o'clock, vertical head posture facing upwards, horizontal head posture right. Surgical microscopes maneuver turn towards operator's side. Chair position flat. Operator position 10 o'clock. Vertical head posture facing upwards. Horizontal head posture right. Surgical microscopes maneuver turn towards operator's side. Carl's eyes, XR300, positioning for dental treatment. Number 3. Right upper first molar tooth. I will explain the positioning for dental treatment by using my book, page 122. Chair position flat, operator position 10 o'clock, vertical head posture facing upwards, horizontal head posture left. Surgical microscopes maneuver turn towards operator's side. Chair position, right. Operator position, 10 o'clock. Vertical head posture facing upwards. Horizontal head posture, left. Surgical microscopes maneuver turn towards operator's side.
Calza is extra 300 positioning for dental treatment for left lower second premolar tooth. I will explain the positioning for dental treatment by using my book named The Microendoscopic Technique. This information is located on page 66. Number 1, chair position 135 degree angle. Number 2, operator position 11 o'clock. Number 3, vertical head posture facing downwards. Number 4, horizontal head posture level. Number 5, surgical microscopes maneuver turn towards operator's right side. Chair position 135 degrees. Operator position 11 o'clock. Vertical head posture facing downwards, horizontal head posture level. Surgical microscopes maneuver turn towards operator's right side. Carotza is extra 300 positioning for dental treatments. Number 5. Left lower central incisor tooth. I will explain the positioning for dental treatments by using my book named The Microendoscopic Technique. This information is located on page 80. Number 1. Chair position 125 degree angle. Operator position 11 o'clock. Vertical head posture facing downwards. Horizontal head posture left. Surgical microscope maneuver turn towards operator's right side. Chair position 125 degree angle. Operator position 11 o'clock. Vertical head posture facing downwards. Horizontal head posture left. Surgical microscopes maneuver turn towards operator's right side. Carlza is extra 300 positioning for dental treatments. Number 6, right lower second molar tooth. I will explain the positioning for dental treatments by using my book named The Microendoscopic Technique. This information is located on page 111. Number 1, chair position. 135 degree angle, operator position 10 o'clock. Vertical head posture facing upwards, horizontal head posture left, surgical microscopes maneuver turn towards operator's right side. Chair position 135 degree angle, operator position 10 o'clock. Vertical head posture facing downwards, horizontal head posture left. Surgical microscopes maneuver turn towards operator's right side. If we use the surgical microscope maneuver, we can directly view various parts of the mouth and teeth. In this presentation, I will introduce the innovation of the surgical microscope that has taken place in Japan. So, Minami Alps Training Institute for Microdentistry, the surgical microscope control course. This course aim is to master the microendoscopic technique again method. Dentists and dental hygienists are put into teams of three and trained together on how to perform the microendoscopic technique again method.
each dentist and hygienist take turns acting as operator, assistant, and patient. When training or how to use the microendoscopic technique are key methods for sure. This training is conducted with the use of a real dental chair, which is a more realistic approach. With this form of training, the students can master the microendoscopic technique can method. Thank you for your kind attention.